Hi, I'm Malcolm Turnbull, and I'm here with my very good friend, Klaus Lichty, who is a senior project director for Swisscom, the big Swiss telecommunications company. Now, Klaus, five years ago, Swisscom decided to do a national fibre to the premises uh, broadband upgrade, didn't they? Yeah, Malcolm, absolutely, that's, that's true. We, uh, we started deploying our, um, we call it fibre to home, it's the uh, fibre to the premises deployment you do here. And we said, yeah, that's, that's the best thing, let's do it. And uh, we still think that's a very good technology. But you but changed your mind and you're, you're yeah, taking a sort of a mixed technology approach. Yeah, so because, can you just explain what you're doing? Because it, it really takes too long. And we, we have a very hard competition from the cable operators in Switzerland. They are offering services up to 250 megabit speed at the moment. And we had to realize um, we cannot just serve 30% of the population with very ultra high speed. We need to have a solution also for the rest of, of Switzerland. Okay, so, so you don't have an HFC network, that's your competition. Correct, yeah. Uh, and they're offering 250 megs. This is, is this on DOCSIS 3.0? This is on DOCSIS 3.0 and uh, I'm sure they will soon go uh, do a, a migration even to higher speeds on DOCSIS 3.1. 3.1, yeah. Now just, so tell us what you, w what are the other technologies Swisscom is deploying in yeah. addition to fibre to the home and what sort of results are you getting uh, from it? I mean, we started already in 2005 with our VDSL deployment. That brought us speed up to um, 40 megabits on an average loop length of, of 700 meters. And now we increase, let's say, just extend the fiber connection towards the houses, yeah. where we go to a distribution point, 200, meter, 200 meters in front of, of the building, reusing this 200 meters of copper, and there we, we achieve uh, 100 megabit speed. And this is w with vectoring or without? This is with vectoring, yes. Yeah. So, so w we call that fibre to the node here. So, yeah. so how much of your footprint now has fibre to the node and what speed are you getting? We, we started last year with, with this deployment. Um, we added up uh, 100,000 lines yeah. within, within one year and we will extend this by much, much more this year and the coming, the coming years. And we really achieve this download speed of 100 meg and still an up, an up speed of 10 meg. So that's really fantastic service. Nobody needs more at the moment. But yeah. there is a story beyond that. So what is the story beyond that? Um, we are actually at the moment testing uh, in the lab and will soon in the field the next generation, which is G.Fast. Just explain what G.Fast is, Klaus. G.Fast is, is, is um, you, you use more spectrum. With VDSL, you, you use up to 70 megahertz, while G dot fast you use up to 100 meg. So you could even listen to FM radio on this frequency. Yeah. And um, this allows you to this more spectrum allows you much more speed on shorter loop lengths up to 800 megabits. And we want to achieve that on this 200 meter range, we still can surf up to three 400 megabit speed, which really is then a very good proposition against also the. Uh, so that would make that you, that would make it competitive both with the uh, DOCSIS 3.1 product, you know, uh, yeah. hundreds of megs on on cable, and of course competitive with fibre. Is that the idea? Absolutely. And our idea is really we we uh, we stopped saying this is fibre, this is copper. We just say this is ultra broadband. So we deploy it, the technology that fits best wherever we do it, and then uh, the subscriber just see oh, I have this amount of speed, I can have these services. He doesn't care what if this is a fiber or a copper connection. He just sees his interface, his services, and that's a uh, yeah, great yeah. Thing. The customer, the customer wants the service, and uh, let the yeah. engineers like you worry about the technology. That is great. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Well, class, that's fantastic. It's great you're visiting in Australia, and I know you're visiting with the NBN Co. And I have to say, um, in designing, uh, working out our policy, our mixed technology, mix approach to broadband in Australia, we've really been inspired by. The, your experiences and the, the wisdom and experience mm -hmm. you've shared with us, and of course other telcos, the British and the Germans, Americans and so forth. But it's always it's fantastic to, um, to learn from the Swiss because nobody ever doubts Swiss engineering. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm sure when, when I visited uh, the NBA co co uh, colleagues and engineers, they do an awesome job. And uh, I'm very impressed about all the activities going on here in this really great country.
Well, if we, good, Klaus. Well, if we can impress you, we're doing all right. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank good you. to see you.